Hi guys, I'm Sarah Hall, and this is your full moon reading with spiritual guidance spanning from January 31st through February 14th, 2018. This full moon is a lunar eclipse in the sign of Leo. Lunar eclipses tend to really intensify the energy of the full moon, so get ready for emotions to be heightened. The universe is helping you put a spotlight on self-empowerment right now. So any of the barriers you've ever held on to that have seemingly blocked your power are now really becoming evident so that you can release them. That's right, it's time to let go of excuses, procrastination, limited thinking, or small beliefs about what you're capable of. You are powerful, and it's time for you to shine your light. You can do anything you set your mind to, and it's time to really own that truth, and that's what we're getting into during this time. Letting go of limitations can at times make us actually feel a bit vulnerable, but the more you're open to completely releasing resistance to the universe and all the lessons that it brings to you, the more easily you'll move through that process of releasing. You are entering a creative, empowered new cycle for manifestation, and you are truly being supported by the energy of this lunar eclipse because it is preparing you for that. For some of us, it might feel a little bit like spiritual boot camp, I'm feeling, where we're really feeling an inner sense of accountability for living up to our ideals, goals, and dreams. It might not be easy 100% of the time, but that's okay because this is just what you signed up for. You are here on planet Earth because your spirit wants to make changes, contributing to the co-creation of love and harmony among the web of life. So breathe deep and dive into it, my dear. Spend time in contemplation and introspection as this can really provide you with insight on your personal life and empowerment for your life's purpose. And now is all about matching the flow of your personal daily living to the ideals of your life's purpose. Another blessing and benefit of the energy around this full moon is that it's bringing up a lot of divine feminine energy. All of us have a divine feminine side, no matter what gender we identify as. Your feminine side is strong, intuitive, unafraid of forces of both creation and destruction, and beautifully expressive. Engage with your divine feminine side by speaking your truth, expressing your emotions, your passions, and your individuality through art and creative modalities, building bridges of communication and understanding in your relationships, and spending time receiving, whether through giving yourself um, and your needs, maybe the care and attention um, that they need, or receiving messages and energies from your angels and spirit guides. The divine feminine is energizing collectively in this world right now, and you have the ability to usher it along by expressing it in your own individual life experiences. One of the goddesses who comes to mind, who fits this current energy so well, is the goddess Kali of the Hindu tradition. She is a goddess associated with destruction and creation, destroying the ego and limiting forces of negativity to liberate the soul. It can be a profound experience to invite this kind of energy in, clearing away the familiar, but also clearing away what was once limiting to make way for your soul's divine process of creation. Make a friend of the process of clearing and remember that you are truly capable of achieving and creating anything. Let's go to our cards to get some further guidance. Today I am working with the Goddess Oracle cards to honor the Divine Feminine Energy and we'll see what we get. So as usual, we're just going to shuffle our cards and let Law of Attraction pick the three that we we're meant to have for today. Our first card is the Home card with the goddess Vesta, Home. So 
For some of this, this card is going to represent that there are literally some changes or adjustments that you can do in your physical home environment to improve and uplift the energy. I'm hearing your guides actually tap me on the shoulder and let me know that that includes purging, getting rid of any extra stuff that you don't need anymore, um, and that that will create the proper environment to get into your um, creative, rejuvenating process for the next step in your life. For others of us, the home card is going to represent a shift or a restart, a clearing in our inner sense of home. You are always at home within yourself and you are the gateway to the entire universe. You and your heart are the doorway to God itself. So caring for your own system, your own sense of home within by way of, again, taking inventory of thoughts, beliefs, or feelings that no longer serve and resolving to clear or forgive those things will be very, very powerful, as well as working on anything that improves your own vessel. So that even could be physical self-care through exercise, dietary change. A lot of these themes are still carrying over from that new moon that we had earlier in the month. And oh my gosh, this is a long-term process that is so good for us. Continue to work on yourself. See the way that you're um, shifting your inner self creates the powerful foundation and support that you need to answer your prayers. Oftentimes the angels will actually give us action steps in answer to our prayers. So instead of just delivering the thing that we're praying or asking for to our doorstep, they will give us action steps so that we are empowered to make our own dreams come true. And that's what human life is all about. It's about the adventure and the joy of co-creating and how magical it is when that process of co-creating works to transform us at the soul level. It evolves us personally and collectively. So we're getting off to quite a wonderful start with this moon cycle. Let's see what our second card is. Ah, the don't back down card with the goddess Bridget. Don't back down. So right away, the message that I'm getting for the don't back down card is that it is incredibly important at this time in your life to really um, face the things that you feel called to do. Um, this, for some of you, is going to be a time where you might feel really challenged to let go of old patterns of procrastination. Um, I'm hearing your guides and your angels be assertive and strong with you too, saying you'll be happier when you hold yourself accountable um, for the goals that you want to do and for the actions that you are taking, the seeds that you are sowing and how those things are directly affecting the reality that you have. So take the power back into your own hands and don't back down from the actions and the path that is required, the process required for creating what you want. You are being empowered to be strong and do things with your own powerful two hands right now. And oh, the joy and oh, the benefits of doing that. Your angels are saying to trust that process. Let's go ahead and see what our third card is. Oh my gosh, the energy of this moon cycle is so um, intense. It's powerful, um, but it's really good. I'm hearing the angels say that for so many of you, this energy is such an answered prayer because you've all been praying for changes. You've been saying, I'm ready to make it to my next goal. I want to make my career dreams come true or my life purpose dreams. I want to um, evolve and get to that next relationship. Trust the angels, trust the universe, trust what comes into your life because I'm telling you, it's all paving the way for that. And no, manifestation isn't always instantaneous on planet Earth. Sure, sometimes it is, um, but the benefits come from the process and the journey of life. So we're really getting some good stuff in the journey right now. Let's go to our third card. We have the arts card with Saraswati, the arts. Saraswati is one of my favorite goddesses. I um, actually, side note story, um, many years ago when I was living in Portland, Oregon, um, I went to go and see Ama. I've actually seen her many times, Ama, the hugging saint. And there was a point 
in the events of the day where everyone was singing and there was a lot of singing with repeated phrases and one of them was a devotion to the goddess Saraswati and the energy that came through as I was just meditating and with this chanting and the singing felt so good. It felt like the most mothering, loving, inspiring, beautiful energy. And of course, Amma was there too, who has such loving, inspiring energy. Um, so just a little side story. I love her and I'm glad that she showed up in our cards for our message today. And the message that she's giving is amazing because you gotta love synchronicity. It goes right along with the messages that we had gotten earlier in our reading where the divine feminine energy is coming through to help us learn to express ourselves, to reignite our passion and our power. And I'm actually feeling that Saraswati energy coming in right now, a lot of divine mother energy. And what it's telling us as it's communicating is, dear blessed children, you are going to thrive in empowering your life goals and so forth by reigniting your life's passion. Because it's through passion that we as human beings feel the most committed and empowered in doing what we want to do. Through our love and passion, that is what causes us to never, never, never give up. And there's a huge message of that coming through right now. I just, I feel just a strength of fiery, fiery conviction um, coming from your guides, from the goddesses, and from, of course, the angels as well, um, to just be devoted, be steadfast um, in the path that you are following at this time and know that that devotion and that um, promise to yourself that says, I will not give up, um, is something that's really going to see you through in an amazing way and has benefits for other people around you because your angels want you to know that you're going to be inspiring other people through your own story, your own process of reaching the goals that you are looking for at this time. Um, also, another message that's coming along with the arts card is, as we said in the beginning of our reading today, express yourselves. It's going to be so fun to spend a little bit of extra time um, working through this intense energy Energy that's been so spiritual and so emotional by dancing it off or painting it or singing it or shouting it, whatever you want to do, get into your expressive self. I don't care who you are, we all have an inner artist. When people tell me that they're not creative, I say, you're wrong. <laughs> You are, we're all human beings and you're all made in the perfect likeness of God. And so you are infinitely creative. Find your particular niche when it comes to how you like to create, how you like, like to express yourself. Even if it's just an outfit that you wanna wear, something like that. Um, all of this is involved in helping us to get the energy out there, rev up the engines of, pa of passion, express yourself and see that fiery passion get to move through all the pathways of every chakra through all areas of your life express connect with it and let that be the inspiration that helps you ride into the next chapter of manifesting all right thank you so much for watching if you liked this video hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I've made you a new video. Do check out the links in the description below to all of my social medias and to follow my podcast through the eyes of the angels. And of course, if you would like your own reading, coaching or healing session with me, you can visit my website at www.sarahhall.com. Thank you so much again for watching and know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye guys.